Hello, I'm Kevin Smith from the Seaward Group, and in this short video, I'm going to introduce you to our new Apollo Plus range of testers. So those of you with existing Apollo series testers might be wondering, what's different with the Apollo Plus and how do I actually get access to these additional features? Well, the good news is that we've actually made all of the Apollo Plus features available to existing Apollo users. The firmware for the Apollo Plus is available as a free download from the Seaward website. All of the additional accessories are available to buy. And the battery modification can actually be carried out at your local Seaward approved service centre. The first thing you'll notice with the Apollo Plus series is some new accessories. Some of which are available as standard with the Apollo Plus series testers and some are available in our Pro and Elite kits. The first thing I want to show you today is our new, improved, ruggedized test lead. First thing you'll notice is that the test lead is actually made from a different material. It's now a PVC material which is much more durable, much more tough, much more hard wearing. You can see that it's not going to damage where it leaves the strain relief. The other thing you'll notice on the end of the test lead is we've got a standard 4mm um, connection, test connection on the end there, which allows me to attach the probe or to attach crop clips. So we can actually put third party um, test leads onto the end of there if we want different styles of probes or crop clips. So that will now work with the standard leads. The probe itself has actually been massively improved. It's a lot more rugged, so very strong. And on the end, we've actually got uh, a GS38 compliant tip. Now you haven't got the little plastic cap that used to get lost or broken at the end. So you've got a good, rugged, strong probe now so we can get some good contact on those earth continuity readings. Crocodile clip, pretty much the same as before. Slightly different, it's a bit shorter so it fits onto the end of the four millimeter connector. But the actual croc clip now is a good, strong bite to the jaws. So the second thing I want to talk to you about today is barcode scanners. We've added a new barcode scanner to the range, and this is actually a 2D barcode scanner which allows us to scan QR codes. One of the new features which I'll talk about later in the video is the ability to scan 2D QR codes and store data optically within the labels. This is available with the Elite kit, and although it works with the Apollo 400, 500 and 600, the QR functionality is only available on the Apollo 500 and 600 plus. In the Pro Kit, we still keep the normal 1D barcode scanner that we had previously, which will scan normal Code 39 barcodes. So the next thing to talk about is our new label options. These labels, you will notice, have got a sort of silvery type finish and these are extra durable labels. These labels have increased UV protection, so they, they don't fade in sunlight. They have increased temperature resistance, and also they're more chemically resistant. These labels are available for use with the Elite printer, the Elite 2 printer, and are also supplied as part of the Elite kit. The final Apollo Plus accessory feature that I want to talk to you about today is the ability to externally charge the batteries. Rather than the battery being fixed in the tester and we simply charge it by connecting to the mains, we now have the ability using a removable battery and an external charger to actually charge the battery outside of the tester. So for high volume users, you can simply buy an additional battery and the charger and extend your battery life. If I just turn the, the tester over, and I've already removed the screw, so if I remove the battery compartment cover, you'll see in there that we've actually got the Apollo Plus battery. The Apollo Plus battery has a ribbon, which allows the actual battery to be easily removed, and you will see at the end that we've actually got a different connector. So you can see the battery and the connector. The battery can be connected up to the external charger and we can charge the battery and then simply swap the batteries over, make the connection, insert the battery back into the tester and 
we're ready to go. In this section, I'm going to take you through the changes that we've made to the Apollo Plus user interface. To demonstrate these features, I'm going to use the Apollo 600 Plus. Here you can see we've made changes to the View Data menu. By pressing the F3 button, you can sort columns in ascending or descending order. By using the left and right arrow keys, you can page up or page down the results. We have also made changes to the View Data filter screen, adding more options and giving you the ability to sort by test status, for example, pass or fail. You can now use the print results option to automatically print test results at the end of each test sequence. We have added an option in the PAT settings menu to allow you to select worst or last for the earth leakage measurements. Have you ever been frustrated by spelling mistakes or typos in your site or location names? We've now added in the ability to delete single items from any of our predictive text menus without the need for a factory reset. To help you keep better track of your download files, we've included a unique file name for each download. In manual mode, we've made the checkbox icon easier to find, and we've also added a new socket outlet test. One of the new exciting features of the Apollo Plus is the ability to print QR codes. QR codes allow us to store data optically within the QR code and this data can then be recalled at the time of retest. We've also produced a new mobile application available on Android and iOS devices which have the ability to scan the data contained within the QR codes. This data can then be sent to third parties such as health and safety managers or duty holders for their records. It's common for busy PAT testers to lose track of which item they're testing, especially if they're disrupted during the test. So we've added the asset ID to each test page, allowing you to keep track of exactly which asset you're testing during the test sequence. To allow you to check your test results before making a comment, we've now added the test details screen into the comments menu. Individual user permissions have been added for both Bluetooth and the ability to delete test results. 